Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land to House. Today I am testing out gears. So I've got these two old wheelchair wheels and some wood here. I'm going to take a one inch wood bit, put some holes in here that will allow these one inch pipes that I've cut that will fit in here. I'm going to put a set screw in that will hold this to this. And I've got some little gears, so that it'll go big gear to little gear. The little gear will drive the big gear and then to a motor. So that should allow like 50 spins to go up to like 5,000 spins. We'll see um, how it works. I'm able to get the holes drilled in here. So next I'm going to put some of these little pieces here as a separator. Just screw those in. So basically I've just made a little frame with three legs that I'm able to put these wheelchair wheels in that I can just test out using pulley systems because I've never tested them before and I definitely have an application for them. Anyway. I can't do this with one hand, so I'll be right back. I have two wheels placed on here now. This one, of course, on the back will be where I actually spin myself. And we'll put some set screws in here so that the bar moves with the wheel and it won't wobble any. So this wheel will drive a pulley that's going to be attached here to a small wheel. And that will turn this big one faster. Um, I think I have, this is a 20 inch wheel down to a 2 inch wheel, so it'll be a, a 10 to 1 kind of deal. And then, once again, this one will go down to a motor, which will have another 2 inch wheel. So basically it's a 10 to 1, 10 to 1, so hopefully uh, we'll get some really serious results out of that. So the small pulley that I have won't fit on this one inch pole, so I'm going to cut a little piece here that I'm going to just screw into this, put that piece on, and then just screw another piece to the end of that to fit in my wooden frame. I'm going to use a grinder to cut that. So here's the basic idea. It's just going to have the small pole stuck into the larger pole with screws into it. And then I'm going to use this set screw to hold this wheel down. And then I'll put the other piece here on this. And that will allow both the large wheel and the small wheel to be on the same piece. Now before the small wheel can be attached, I've got to drill into this larger wheel to put a set screw to hold it to the bar. So I'm going to use a hand drill for that. I have put both wheels on here and they can spin freely, kind of. <laughs> this one, uh, because this wheel is so much smaller than this one inch pipe, had to uh, do some interesting adjustments here. But, for a test, it's going to work alright. So my next task is to attach this 700, I mean 7,000 RPM motor to here and see uh, what we get. Alright, test frame is done. We've got motor attached over here. We've got this big wheel and this little wheel, and then the last big wheel. So I'm going to spin this one, it'll turn here, it'll spin this one, and turn here. So I'm going to use this blue rope to attach all of this. Well, after a bit of playing, I got this rope on here, and um, you know, it's just not quite the way it should be. Um, the main problem is all of this right here. It's just too much give. Um, you, know, you can see it, it tries, 
but it's pretty cool that you can see how a little bit of turn here does like that. But anyway, um, this side works a little bit better. My flywheel or pulley system is the wrong size for that shaft, so just a lot of things going on that are affecting it, but um, it's still fun to test. And I'll revisit revisit this and get it right. Well, thanks for watching this adventure. Um, it's not working as it should. You can see that I've got a little bit of movement here when I spin this wheel. But the problems are this wheel is not the right size for this shaft, so there's wobble there. Then I've got all this mess, so it's a lot of wobble there, and that's where most of the energy is being lost, because when I spin this guy, nothing really happens because it's catching in there. But, um, you know, I'll revisit this. You can kind of see that when this wheel turns fast, this wheel is turning slow. So that's the concept I'm trying to achieve here. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll revisit this later, and I'll see you later.